Do you guys want to win some free Xbox, PSN gift cards? All you gotta do is leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Yo, what is up, guys? It is Patty Kills you bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video, we actually have the top 10 left wingers in NHL 18 ratings finally being revealed to us. And um, my voice today is kind of bit down because I'm kind of sick. Hope you guys can just manage, but you know. I did my top 10 defensive men ratings yesterday, man, you guys, you killed it with the support. Uh, it will be awesome if you guys do it again. 20 likes is the goal. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, turn on notifications to not miss an upload. Um, so tomorrow's probably going to be right wingers, and the next day is going to be centers, and then the next day is probably going to be the top uh, 50 players in the game. But let's just get right on this video. I don't even want to waste any of you guys' time. All right, let's go. Number 10, we have Gabriel Landeskog. This could be a bit risky, in my opinion. Gabriel Landeskog really, to me, did not perform that well last year. He's in the 24, is 85 overall, has an elite potential. Right? That's actually something you should look at. It's 87 or 85 overall. Um, Gabriel Landeskog is a talented forward who doesn't shy away from the physical game. The Colorado Avalanche left wing strength, 90 and 4.5 star puck skills. Shooting, skating, and physical categories make him a tough player to check whenever he's on the ice. I don't know. He has um, he does have four and a half stars on puck skill, shooting, skating, and physical. He has four stars in defense and four stars in sensing. Would I give him this number 10? I'm kind of critical about this because I feel like I'll just see who's next on the list. Number 9 with Eric Stahl. To me, this is well-deserved for Eric Stahl. He's played a really good year last year for Minnesota and uh, honestly like he had a really good year last year for the wild deserves his number nine spot 85 overall the exact same overall as Gabriel Landeskog um, he's got four and a half stars for puck skills senses a uh, defense and he's got four stars for shooting skating and physical Eric Stahl returned to his old form in last in his first year with the Minnesota Wild. Stahl uses his size, offensive awareness 89, and defensive awareness 89 to position himself for plays and generate offense for his team. His great passing 88 ability allows him to set up teammates for tap in finishes. All right, so Eric Stahl, my, he deserves it. All right, let's go. Number eight, Philip Forsberg. I don't know how Philip Forsberg is not high up. Forsberg should be, I think, high up, but let's just see. The high is an 86 overall, so 86 overall, elite. The high flying Philip Fors Philip Forsberg is a dynamic offensive talent that was a key part to the National Predators Stanley Cup run last season. The Swedish left wing has an incredible puck skills, often using his deking 91 and puck control 91 to find the right attacking lanes to get to the net. All right, so my thoughts about this. He's got four and a half stars for four and a half stars for puck skill senses, shooting and skating, physicals four star and defense four star. I think he deserves it. He could be higher up. Alright, number seven, we have Artemi Panarin, Columbus Blue Jackets, eighty six overall. He's got uh five stars in puck skills, five stars in shooting, he's got four and a half stars in senses and skating, three stars in physical, and four and a half star in defense. And he's got uh, this. Artemi Panarin set to join the Columbus Blue Jackets after an off-season trade. The crafty Russian left winger boosts some of the best puck skills in the game with his 93 deking, 92 puck control from his skating to his shooting to his sense. Panarin's high talent level can change the game at any point. I, I would agree with Panarin's rating. Number seven is good. I know some people argue about Panarin was only good because of Patrick Kane. I know that's going to be a huge argument, but we'll just see in Columbus if Columbus he does well without Kane. I feel like he could do it good without Kane. He's a great player in my opinion. I think he deserves that number seven spot. Number six, we have Max Pacioretty, 87 overall. He's got five and a half stars, four and a half stars. Pardon me, uh, for puck skills, senses, shooting skating he's got four stars for defense he's got four stars for physical uh he's got some pretty decent stats he's got like 90 to hand eye um he's an okay card in my opinion um he there's one thing you can expect the montreal Canadiens can do 
It's consistently scored 30 goals. Max Patrick is coming off his fourth straight 30 plus goal season as he's able to generate his goals through his four plus star skating, uh, shooting, puck skills, senses, abilities. He carries an accurate yet heavy shot in the combination of his speed 89 and his strength 80. It can drive defenders crazy. 87 overall to me is really good for Max Pacioretty. I can arguably see him a top five left winger. In my opinion, he's not a top five left winger. Six spot is decent. I feel like E is quickly doing good on these, but I kind of don't agree with the Gabriel Landis caught a bit uh rating. I feel like someone else could have popped in, but number five we have Johnny Goudreau. Oh, okay, this could be. I I feel like Goudreau is a top five left winger. Johnny Goudreau is an eighty seven overall elite player. He's got ninety five. Like just look at the DK he has. He has ninety five DK, ninety four hand eye, ninety five ninety three offensive awareness. <laughs> You know, he's got uh, 94 agility, 94 acceleration. He's got five uh, five stars for puck skill, senses, skating, four and a half stars for shooting, two and a half stars for physical, and then he has, uh, you know, he has he has good stats. Uh, after 5'9", at 5'9", Johnny Goudreau is one of the smallest players in the NHL. However, his five-star puck skills, skating, and senses make him the tough to check. And the Calgary Flames forward is able to pull off magical moves with his DK 95 abilities while using his world-class speed, 93 in agility, 94. Goudreau, to me, he had a, a bit of an off year last year, but I feel like he deserves the five spot. He's, he's a great great left winger i feel like he's really good he deserves a spot especially his he just he deserves it last year i know he's kind of lower rated i feel like last year our temi panarin came in number five this year panarin's lower all right number four all right this could be a little bit critical we got brad marchand all right so brad marchand had a great year last year uh i could arguably see brad marchand the top the top three left winger in the game um i have no clue but Brad Marchand to me is a great player. Uh, I know some people hate him of his dirty plays, but dirty plays aside, his offensive plays are amazing. And yeah, so he's a he's a top six four. Right, this is he's actually not an elite potential. He's a top six four. That's actually you need to see that he's not an elite potential. He's got five stars of shooting. He's got four and a half stars of puck skills, senses, four stars for defense, four and a half for skating and physical. He's got ninety ninety deking, ninety passing. He's got He's got a 88 speed, so he isn't the fastest card out there. He does he does have that good physicality with him, which I definitely think he should. Or originally known for being the pest, Brad Marchand showed hockey world that he can play with the best in the league. While Marchand's two-way play was initial to the Boston Bruce success, his wrist shot accuracy 92 and allows him to snipe goals past net miners with ease. All right, number four. Number three, this guy, Taylor Hall. I know some people are going to hate on me for this. Taylor Hall is an 87 overall. We have so many people at 87 overall. Taylor Hall, all right. From his five-star shooting ability to his world-class speed, 95, Taylor Hall is one of the best scoring shooters in the game for NHL 17. His skills. All right, so speaking about Taylor Hall, he's got Five stars for shooting shoot, uh, and skating. He's got four and a half for puck skill senses. And he's got four stars for defense and physicality. Now, I he is a great speed. Taylor Hall is a good card in this game. He's got 95 speed. That is insane. 95 speed. This card is going to be a card you definitely want on your HUD team. On, you know, especially Taylor is a great player. But to me, giving him a... I feel like he deserves this. But I know some people are going to be really critical. I, I feel like Brad Marchand could be number three uh, top uh, left winger. He had a good year last year. But Taylor Hall had a, a all year, but still a good year for... I'm going to agree on this. And we already know who's going to come in number two. And number two is Jamie Ben. I know a lot of people are going to disagree on this again. Jamie Ben's a 90 overall. You see the overall gap. It's pretty insane now. Five with five short puck skills, senses, and shooting. Jamie Ben is one of the most talented scorers in hockey with combined in his top end strength. Uh, 90 puck control, 92. I definitely agree with this rating. He's got 89 speed. He's more of a big two way power forward than a speedy guy. And then obviously, at number one, you have Alex Ovechkin as a 92. Uh, he's a franchise potential. All right. That's something you need to see. Um, this is going to be the end. Uh, Ovechkin's got 95 accurate, 95 powerful shot, slap shot, five star. I know he's a lot of five star caddies. He's got five star for puck skill, senses, shooting, physical, and skiing. This has four stars in defense. He's a really good player. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, I hope you guys slap a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys on my next video. Remember to drop a very, very fat like. 
and uh, tomorrow we'll come back with the top 10 right-winger ratings, and then the next day is going to be the center, so subscribe for the ratings. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.